Hello and welcome to Learn Digital Design. This will be our 19th Inkscape tutorial. Visit us on the web at www.learndigitaldesign.com. Now in this tutorial I'm going to make a nice denim effect and you see this all over the internet already and you're going to see what I'm talking about here shortly. You're really going to like this one. What we're doing is grabbing a line here with the pen tool and just getting it at a nice angle here creating that one line and we're gonna make it a thicker line bear with me here and you'll see what I'm talking about shortly um, I'm gonna to go to the stroke make it a little bit bigger here I think we're gonna want this to be a bluish color so let's change the stroke paint get it a real dark blue here Okay. In the spot where we want it let's close this get this out of the way and what we're doing now is I'm push, pressing control D for duplicate and now I'm using the right arrow keys along with shift to move it faster and I'm moving this to the right it's important that you do this because you want it perfectly to the right of the first horizontal line that you drew now we're gonna select both of these horizontal lines and we're going to use an effect here that we haven't talked about in any of the previous tutorials yet. All this is select, selected. Go to Effects, Generate from Path, and Interpolate. The interpolation steps we're going to use here are 200. Click Apply. And you can use less if you liked, and your lines will be farther apart. Or you can use more, and they'll be closer together. It's up to you. It's your preference. I accidentally clicked apply again, close, okay. That looks good for our purposes here. Now I'm going to grab a rectangle tool and make a big rectangle around that. We're going to send it to the back. Get it a little bit bigger here so that we can control the gradient we're about to put on it more easily. We have a little bit of room to to start the gradient this way. and we're going to have it going dark to light from bottom to top so going to get a little bit darker blue than that a little bit darker than that about right there looks good grab our gradient tool and move up and bring this nice dark gradient up along the uh, rectangle in the background that's probably good about right there. Let's uh, go ahead and click this other lighter blue to apply that to the top. And I'm going to add a third stop. And I want this to be a really light color so that it really looks like this is kind of rounded. And I don't, I don't really know what the actual name of this effect is, but it just to me it reminds me of like blue jean denim. But you can use this in any color you like. It's very, you know, professional looking pattern that we're about to make. So we're going to select all of this. We're going to group it, Control G. Now we're going to go up to object and we're gonna go to pattern this is gonna create a pattern and we're gonna go objects to pattern now it didn't really give us any confirmation like you might expect but it it created a pattern now now what we're doing is just I'm gonna make this rectangle and I'm gonna apply that pattern to the rectangle and I'm going to move this rectangle up on top of the pattern. It's going to be kind of like a cookie cutter. Wherever you put this rectangle, that area that you put it on is the pattern that's about to be applied to it. Now with the fill and stroke panel, go to the fill and go to pattern. And it's going to put this wacky pattern on it at first. That's the default. Go up to your pattern that you just made, which will be like pattern and some number. Okay. Now you can see that it, it looks just transparent, but it's actually not. That pattern is applied to it. And when we pull it off, you can see that the pattern has been applied to the rectangle. And I, th I think these look kind of good if you do some thick uh, 
thicker strokes on the outside and it's up to you you can make your strokes as thick as you want on the outside you can get, use none if you wish but I just think it looks good so I'm gonna add that on I'm gonna move it down out of the way and now I'm gonna show you how to use this same effect but we're gonna apply it to text grab your text tool and let's just type text now make it a little bigger so we can see what we're doing here and go to the text panel you can use control T as a shortcut to go to the text panel and we're gonna make it bigger so you can see it here and I think Arial black will be a good a good uh, text choice for this apply it close the text panel make it bigger here let's drag it on top of the pattern just like we did the uh, other object the rectangle and it's just the same thing pattern one whatever that was um, I'm gonna make the strokes about the same as the other and bring it down alright well now you know how to use make this dim, denim effect and uh, if you're a web developer uh, you can make this very easily now